Hi, Jim Roberts from Jim Roberts Percussion here. Just showing how to put quickly put on a, a bongo head when you're replacing the bongos. These are some old uh, toka bongos, so these these skins are pretty old. And actually, this drum looks remarkably like a LP uh, Matador. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they're probably made in the same factory. So let me just show you quickly. I've taken the head off, and I have it sitting here. So I've got this bongo head, which is a Evans head, and I tend to put the top straight so that it's I, it, it just is an aesthetic thing to me. So it's not over here or somewhere, but I just put it. I like that. You take this the uh, rim that you've taken off the top. You place it on there, and um, this is synthetic head, of course. Uh, if you're if you're tucking the head, it's an entirely different process. But so it, it fits, it looks like. And so then what we're going to do, I've put the uh, four rings, kind of uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, instead of doing it straight up. I've kind of spaced it like that. I will turn it over, keeping that intact in hopes. Okay. So now we're ready to put... Um, this part back on so this fits right there like that just fits right into the drum and all you do is you just line up where the uh, lugs will hook on to on the rim and then I just sort of hand screw them a little bit to get it started so that it doesn't just fall off Just a little at a time. Just hand tighten. So I've got all four. Okay, and then I'll go back and hand tighten some more. Now, after I had them hooked into the ring. Okay. Alright, and that's pretty much it for putting the head on. And of course it's not tuned yet, so I'm just going to check, make sure yes, the um, Evans is straight across. And then I don't tune it too much. I'm just doing maybe three quarters to a quarter turn. There's only four lugs, so it doesn't matter if you really go across or anything. And that's just with about three quarters turn. So when there's so few lugs, in this case four, you really don't want to turn it too far in one time because when you because there's only four lugs it, it brings up a significant part of the drum at one head as opposed to a djembe, which might have 27. So when you pull a diamond, it only does this very small part of the drum. You'll need a quarter inch wrench. Now I'm going to basically quarter to half turns. Once I've got it, this got a pitch on it already. Keep checking it. It's already getting a bit tight. So, so now we're just just in for a quarter turn. Pretty tight. I kind of seat the head a little bit. We can still go up a bit. 
This is the larger of the bongo sizes. What is it? Seven five eighths of eight and a half, something like that. Okay. All right, let's see how this is. Okay, that'll do for now. That's basically uh, how you get it and you can tune it higher, tune it however you like it. And then uh, the low one you can tune as well. Same thing. Thank you and I uh, hope this helps. Uh, a drums are simple instruments, so if your heads are messed up, don't be afraid to just undo it and go for it. And th I mean, this is for people that have not done much of this type of thing. So. Um, uh, anyway, thanks for watching and, uh, like, and subscribe if you like it. JimRobertsPercussion.com. Peace. Enjoy your day.